after that magical test match in lords we are now about to embark on another crucial test match the third test match in headingley uh, this leeds ground has produced results more often than not uh, it kind of uh, supports the medium pacers uh, a little bit more uh, than the spinners let's see what li- what lies in store for us uh, in this third test match uh, on this episode of jatin scorecard India haven't played a test in Headingley for the last 20 years. Uh, my friend, the cricket uh, scribe Jamie Alter, recently joked uh, that India haven't played there, uh, or the last time India played there was when the iPhone was being invented. So that's ages ago. Uh, this is a very crucial test match, third test match in in a series of five. So technically, the team which kind of wins this test match will not lose the series. Uh, so I think that assumes more importance for India. Uh, they haven't played, as I said, at Headingley for a while now. but they but they definitely have the attack uh, to make the most of this headingley pitch uh, according to me uh, headingley and from from whatever cricket i've seen there because i used to play club cricket uh, in leeds uh, so i've seen a lot of cricket at headingley it's a little bit of an up and down pitch uh, recent reports i think nasser hussain also wrote that uh, the pitch has been flat so far uh, but then let's not forget that the only cricket which has happened in england domestic uh, season this year has been white ball cricket and cr- and wickets tend to be flat uh, for white ball cricket i think this will be a normal headingley pitch uh, which will have some variable bounce uh, but uh, leeds as uh, we all know is in the north of england uh, the weather will definitely be much much cooler than it was at lee uh, at lords uh, and uh, there could be some uh, rain which might come into play uh, forecasts as they stand now say that there could be rain on the 4th or the 5th day uh, but don't be surprised with the occasional shower that's the trend in the north of england let's speak about the 11 india might play i'm going to give you two versions today uh, the version i think they should play uh, and the second version is what i think uh, the team management uh, will go with uh, so so you're starting with my version uh, rohit sharma kl rahul uh, i would bat ajinkya rahane uh, at number 3 virat kohli at number 4 and and pick surya yadav to make his test match debut at number 5 Pant comes in at six, Jadeja at seven, Ashwin is somebody I would pick for this Test match at number eight, and then you have Shami, the half centurion from Lords, uh, and Bumrah, uh, and then Mohammad Siraj. What I think the team management will probably go with is as follows: uh, KL Rahul and Rohit to open, uh, Pujara at three, uh, Roh- uh, uh, Virat Kohli at number four. Uh, Ajinkya Rahane five, Pant six, Jadeja seven. I too think they will pick Ashwin. So Ashwin at eight, and then the three fast bowlers. Uh, the reason I am uh, inclined to go with Surya Yadav is that Pujara is not in the best of forms, and Headingley is not a pitch which will kind of get him back into form uh, if the wicket is as it is. Uh, and England has been a great. country for blooding uh, indian youngsters sachin tendulkar got his first 100 there dravid and ganguly had those uh, had that fantastic series in 1996 there as as debutants uh, so i think there's a little bit of a history attached to it surya yadav is in fantastic form he absolutely you know he is there uh, in the indian framework as a white ball player but he has the ability at number 5 uh, to kind of uh, you know uh, play an attacking mode uh, which will then uh, you know bring back the momentum if needed into this indian batting order let's talk a little bit about the england 11 i think with malan in and sibley out clearly malan will open the batting uh, i still feel even though rory burns is struggling they might give him another chance uh, he is one of those kind of doughty openers who could be well suited to this pitch you know a guy who is who will grind it out i, I think he deserves uh, another go uh, even though his scores have been uh, uh, nothing short of dismal uh, so i think they will go with malan and uh, rory burns at the top so that makes it two left handers uh, at the top for for india i don't think india enjoy bowling two left handers at the top so so it 
but uh, you know we've got to wait and watch as to how that goes. Uh, England unfortunately haven't had any batsmen in form apart from Joe Root, uh, and I think this is a great opportunity for Johnny Bairstow. Uh, you know he's played 75 plus Test matches for England, so the experience is certainly there. Uh, these are the times when experienced players have to come uh, to the party and and do something remarkable. Uh, what adds uh, to my feeling about Bairstow is the fact that he is a local lad. He plays for Yorkshire, he knows the heading league pitch inside out, he knows what the weather conditions will be. Uh, so, here is a huge opportunity for Bairstow uh, to stamp his uh, class and his experience and his gravitas uh, on, on the series. Uh, so, I think uh, this entire duo of uh, Root and Besto, uh, also Josh Butler, though I'm not convinced uh, about him as a as, as a red ball player. Uh, so if you ask me, uh, Besto and Root are uh, going to have to do something special uh, to pull England out of the woods here. Let's not forget that even though England are down uh, one nil in the series, uh, they are still a highly highly competitive side, a very proud side, uh, led very bravely by Joe Root. Uh, and look at the amount of uh, look at the number of players they have missing. They Jofra uh, jo- uh, Archer is out, Chris Wokes is out, Ben Stokes is out, Stuart Broad is out. But these are the times when tough teams find that combination, find that grit, uh, find that uh, uh, you know streak of bravery in them and hit back hard. So I expect England to come back strongly. The toss is going to be crucial, uh, especially if it's a cloudy morning uh, as it tends to be in Headingley. Uh, so the toss is going to be crucial. I think if England win the toss, they would like to bowl first uh, and let Anderson uh, you know, uh, get down to business. All in all, it appears to be a fantastic test match to look forward to. Uh, keep your comments coming. Uh, use the hashtag AskChatin on my Twitter account uh, and I'll get back to you with my thoughts. Uh, till then, thanks for watching.